Okay. So let's talk 1A. Demo, Nevada taking on Denver, a little West Coast matchup. What'd you think? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was a good match. I thought Nevada came out, for me, a little bit slow. I thought Denver was pushing them a bit. Nevada was struggling to build out. Wasn't quite finding space and then got a little direct. I thought Nevada's number 15 to nine, what was her name? Don't know. It's like, oh, I do not. Uh, Grace something? Yes. Grace, I apologize. Yes, yes. But you had a great game, Grace. Uh, I think she was creating some problems for them in the in the first half. Nevada got a goal. They took a – it was a ball into the box. You had a better look at it than I did. Goalkeeper didn't come off her line. Yeah. So, hesitated and basically waited until the player got basically to the penalty spot to move, and it was by then too late. One and, touch around the keeper, easy finish. Yeah, We've had our eyes on Nevada all week. You know, yeah. We've seen him play a couple times leading into the final, and, and uh, they've been really strong. Uh, Demo is a you know a local guy in that area. Talk to me about some of the players that stood out and really you know brought the title home yeah, for them. Yeah, I mean, I think it's easy. Cubs. It's easy with Nevada to always talk about Evelyn and, and Avery because you're, you've got your number nine and your your center back gets out there really shutting down the show. Aubrey Thompson I thought was really good. She's been great all year. She's got a good amount of goals, probably more than one of the Anderson twins. And I confuse the Anderson twins all the time. So I don't know if it's Evelyn or Avery. Which one's the striker? Never mind, they're not listening. Yeah. Um, but the striker. So she had she had more goals than than uh, than so but but I think for me I would highlight uh, Isabel Nelson today. Okay, great. I thought she was terrific all day long. So I love that. Uh, Nevada with a final score? Just 2-0. 2-0 victory. Makes them state champions. The Cubs uh, kind of showing up the boys a little bit because Nevada boys have kind of been in the mix over the past few years. If I, Maybe I'm making that up too. Who knows? Um, Wes, oh, we're going to go for 2A with you. Let's go 3A first because that's the order it went. Yeah. It's really weird <laughs> but also makes sense. The only thing that the girls and boys associations did together to work together this year was to make sure that DCG boys and girls didn't play at the same time. I really wish that they would find a way to do a tournament together and figure out how to um, make it so that we could all have seen all of the games as opposed to having to pick and choose. That being said, the DCG boys played this morning at 10 and then the DCG girls played this afternoon around 5, 5.30. Yeah. So we ended up with a 3A final, Bettendorf and Valley at about 2.30 this afternoon. Uh, Avery Galloway, former Valley Tiger, just like myself. Uh, what did I say earlier? I also Valley Tiger. I You're also Valley yeah. Tiger. Yeah. Or something. Big Valley Tiger. Let's go Huge ahead. Valley I wish Tiger. I could retract that, Huge. but it was take three. So Avery, let's talk a little bit about the Tigs. Um, so, I mean, this is the second year in a row that Valley's been in the state championship. Um, I think this year they definitely had a much younger team. Last year, graduating 11 seniors is pretty huge. Um, and I think that youth kind of started to show a little bit in that game. Started off pretty even. Um, Bettendorf got on the board really early. Carson Bohonic is an excellent, phenomenal player. She's speed, um, super insane strength, really, really impressive player. She had a hat trick for Bettendorf Olay. in that game. Pretty impressive. Um, she caused so many problems for the back for the Tigers back line. Um, so they scored pretty early and then Ella Ann Licker had a pretty actually quick response for the Tigers. Nice little touch from Eleanor. Uh, Eleanor Stone, Stone. Yeah. knocking in there really for Really well her. done. Yeah. Um, the Tigers, some of the seniors for the Tigers performed really well. Ella Ann Licker had a goal. Um, Elon Litt in the back line performed at a really, really high level the entire state tournament. Um, and then Ava Hall, who's actually a junior, is incredible in the midfield. She's breaks up play, does puts in every tackle, works insanely hard, great player. Um, but then Bettendorf kind of just started to get away from them a little bit. I think um, Carson Bohonek had two breakaways in the second half, and that the first one, um, there was a foul, but it, very much controversy. Very the controversy. Refereeing, the, the refereeing in this game, like I, I thought it was poor. Um, I don't think it was. Let's go, Abe. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think last year was also poor, and I think a big. Let's part go, Abe. Well, a big. Sorry, but like a huge part of that. Um, I don't know. The girls high school athletic union. A big part of it is that they've done an all female referee the past two years, and that's uh -oh. like the thing that they do. It's huge, and I think it's really 
important that you have female representation in sports in all areas, especially in an officiating position. For sure. But you also want the most competent people in a state championship refereeing the game. And that's a decision that needs to be made. Obviously, people deserve an opportunity no matter what. But I think you need to be conscientious of who you have refereeing a game. They need to be the most competent referees, no matter the gender. I think we can all agree on that overall. Moving on. But we're definitely not going to – we're not going to stay on that one. No, we we're moving on. We don't want to stay on <laughs> we're that moving on. We're moving on. But no, no, here's go, what I got. Go to the next controversy that they had after it was 2-1. Okay, let's do that. What, what was that one? Wes, talking you – I'm talking about the, the – the handball. There was a handball. There oh. was a foul in the box. The handball that wasn't in the box, but it was in the box. And then the referee determined that it was outside of the box. And then for you had who against who? Against Valley it? for Bettendorf. Or no, well actually it was for. It was a call for Valley. Could have been a penalty kick, but ended up being a, a handball right outside the box, and it, it probably should have been a penalty kick. And the score at the time was two to one. Um, and then Bettendorf scored their third goal, and at that point, I would say Valley definitely put their heads down for probably the last 20 minutes of the game. It was it was pretty even killed. Okay, so no question in my mind at least, player of the tournament, Carson Bahane. Yes, mm -hmm. 100%. Is Isabel Garcia, Des Moines Christian, uh, state champion at one point, all-state tournament team captain, if I recall. Um, yeah. This is the closest we've gotten to seeing somebody similar to the way you play. Uh, very feisty, attacking, quick, uh, very direct, straight at goal, strikes a nice ball. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I mean her attitude though. This yeah. is a, that I, I was. I don't know if you're as feisty as she is. She's, oh, she's God, like she, she, is. she was putting people on their Ass. rear ends. Yes. Yeah, so, well, thank you, Avery. Sorry, I don't know if I uh, can say that. Well, no. it's it's a no. We can, <laughs> no, but it's for the kids. <laughs> but Izzy, I mean, when you know the way that you play, like how does that make you feel when you see somebody that like plays in the same vein? Honestly, it's just like super fun to watch, and she is such like a just a like little like she's just so fun to watch because I mean she drives at you with the ball and honestly if I were up against her I would get my butt out of the way like she well, when she doesn't like, have it too she presses she, yes, and so hard will just, she wants the goal she wants to win and like but she also has like such a humble good attitude about it and she is I've met her in person maybe one time and like just smiles all around like so kind, so nice, and like I've n only heard good things about her, and just like watching her play has been so fun, and like just seeing someone else like be feisty and like want to get the ball and like want to score is just like super fun and super cool. Well, I'm gonna just interrupt you for two seconds. Let's give a shout out to our guy back here. Hello. This is this is a shout out for our YouTube channel. Yeah, look at this. We got all sorts of fans riding by on their bikes. <laughs> All right, inter oh, small it. interruption. It was good stuff. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> Isabel, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself there. Um, but the the other thing about Carson, Bahanek, um, and this maybe reminds me a little bit more of Miss Galloway over oh, yeah. there. Uh, oh, yeah. She was constantly urging her teammates on, yes. constantly coaching her teammates. She's very much a leader, and as a junior, that always impresses me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, I think you know, as a Nebraska recruit, I think she's going to do really well as long as she just like stays on yeah. the path, right? Yeah, for sure. And I think the leadership part too is something that can go unnoticed in a lot of ways because staying positive and like, yes, you may be up 3-1, but I feel like if they were in the other position, if they were down 3-1, she would be just as encouraging, yeah, sure. just as hardworking and like still Maybe even more so, yes, right? E maybe even more so and just like wanting to bring her team with her and like I think that's such a cool aspect to have especially as just a junior yes she's technically an upperclassman I guess but still you're you still have another year left so like you would think she yeah. wouldn't be in that leadership role so that's just super cool seeing someone that young-ish being in such a big role I actually think we saw really good leadership from like junior like yeah. junior like underclassmen, not necessarily senior players I think we saw really great leading by example behavior from actually specifically the junior class on both sides for the Tigers and for Bettendorf as well. I think that was really nice to see. It's actually great to see at the high school level as those juniors are starting to step into a more senior role, possibly as team captains or definitely playmakers on the team. So the other player that impressed me, I didn't, again, I didn't see the final, but in the quarterfinal and semifinal was number 13, the freshman. And I, I, I think it's Kaylin, possibly. I don't know if you guys noticed yes. her, but yeah, she yeah, was yeah. 
Uh, she had the cookies saucy goal of the game, I think, mm -hmm. on the semifinal. But then she was, I think, That's she nice. was just really good. Uh, I, just, uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, it seemed like Bettendorf just really had it. They mm -hmm. had kind of all the pieces to be a championship team, and it seemed like Valley. As much as I love my Tigers, I, Ave, I they, they just didn't seem like they were quite there. Yeah. And so we go on to. But before we go on, I oh, want to okay. give one player a shout out that <laughs> Please. deserves it. Oh, yeah. uh, ben Dorf's goalkeeper. Uh, oh, yeah, she Riley did really Sutherland. well. Thank you. No, thank you, goalkeeper expert well. Weston thank McPhee. You. Goalkeeper shout out. Not, no, she was at, no, she genu she genuinely, like, she was genuinely very good. And I noticed her in both the quarterfinal and semifinal. Big communication, confident. great distribution, confident Absolutely. all over the place, and, and makes holds the ball, makes your saves. I, I thought by far she was the bravest keeper I saw. Definitely the not the tournament. biggest either. Not not, not no. the biggest. And, and I was thinking how brave she was and her communication. So I was thinking senior, and I looked at the roster. I'm like, whoa, she's listed as a sophomore. Oh, that's great. So, coaches, if you're looking for a goalkeeper, and I know many coaches are looking for a goalkeeper, you better have her on your list. If you don't, I... You heard it here first from <laughs> Weston McPhee. So let's, let's, I love it. We're just going to keep it moving. Talk to me about 2A, because you were the guy there. DCG, yeah. three-time state champions, and just quick foreshadowing, the boys won as well. So I think uh, the police in Dallas Center Grimes would be looking for a house party tonight, because that it's going to be it's going to be a good one out in DCG tonight. Yeah, so I, I, I have some notes because of how many goals ended up in that game yeah uh <laughs> that's awesome so what is i don't know i'm on the news baby Woo! oh yeah we're the so news I, I know i i, I picked dcg to go to go through because of their experience and, and mm -hmm. i know a few players that i've had in the past from them and, and just how mentally tough they are and, and how disciplined they are in their style uh north polk started with the first goal about 15 minutes in um they scored first? They yeah. scored first. It was a great, really nice great goal. goal. It was a nice yeah. goal. Yeah. But we, we've seen throughout the tournament, they love to go forward, and they are strong going forward. Mm -hmm. um, They're really talented going forward. Uh, about 15 minutes later, DCG gets a penalty, and so ties it up 1-1, and it goes into the half 1-1. Thinking, okay, so it's a straight battle, right? That's what I would have thought. I mean. Same. So coming out of halftime, nope. about five to 10 minutes, after halftime, DCG scores. Mm -hmm. We're thinking, okay, they got the upper hand. Ten minutes later, DCG scores again. One minute after that, DCG oh, scores again. Oh, just opens up. It, yeah, it, fell it, apart. It, yeah. So who, out who, of the balloon for sure. who are our uh, leading scorers here? We didn't uh, we didn't get a full tally Landry on Moscow? all the had, girls' games, but we'll have to get Landry some Landry had two. two. Kylie Kniff had two. Had two. And then I don't know who scored uh, the sixth Kenna. goal. I'm guessing Kylie must have been our all-tournament Kylie was captain. probably the all-tournament team captain. Yeah, I gotta believe that without knowing. I don't know, yeah. but probably. But she scored in the semifinal. I mean, she's been good all week. Yep. Yeah, she's very solid Going to player. UNI, right? Yes. Going to UNI, yes. Good player. And then 10 minutes after that, uh, they score again. And then one minute after that, score again. Oh, the, just the final score ended up 6-1. Starts and falling apart. It, it almost looked, I mean, obviously blowout status, but the game was almost like the end of the boys' final, foreshadowing again. Started off okay, and then it just kind of became, I almost don't, I hate saying this, kind of a downer of yeah. the final. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I mean, when, you, when we're talking. Disappointing. Yeah. And when you, when, not for anyone else, a Dallas Center Grimes fan. Oh, yeah. absolutely uh, not. But, no. but just to be clear, you're talking large class, right? So mm -hmm. the large class girls, you've got a, a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a blowout. Uh, it's been like I would argue. Years, I would argue years, that though. game w almost was a blowout more so than the score reflected. Honestly, I think it was pretty one side. I think Ben well, dominated then, the game completely. And so then we get uh, for the four A boys again foreshadowing a little bit of a blowout from Blake's Johnson Dragons. I hate to see it. Just kidding, drags. Uh, but I just hate to see Blake happy. <laughs> just kidding again. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Blake. Um, all right. So let's. Just uh, let's wrap that up. So today we got a, a 3A champion in the Bettendorf Bulldogs. We got a 2A champion in DCG, the Mustangs, and then our uh, 1A champion, the Cubs Gilbert of Nevada. Nevada, sorry, the Gilbert Lord. girls gone. Yeah, my brain is. Yeah. It's getting sorry. there. Okay, well, it's getting late. A lot of Central Iowa action, though. Mm -hmm. we love that Bettendorf. Congratulations, Bettendorf. showing us that it's not all in Central Iowa. True. Uh, Damien Corrieri, nice thank to see you. you. 
Wes McPhee, thank you. Avery Galloway, and thank you. And Isabel Garcia, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.